Hello everyone and welcome to my most recent video. This is Telesphoros and anybody who's been following along with my channel knows that I have been on a journey to learn some game development with Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine C++. Uh, I started about five months ago and this is my most recent creation. So without further ado, I'd like to show you some of the mechanics and uh, yeah, let's take a look around. Alright, so the first thing that I'd like to show off now that I'm out of range of enemies is uh, just the movement capabilities. You can see we've got this blend space here that allows for my animation to uh, uh, take place when I'm moving around. Uh, I do apologize, it's a little bit laggy here. I think that's because I'm recording with my OBS while I'm uh, doing my engine. So it's actually, it looks really smooth. Uh, most of the time I get a locked 60 frames per second, even with everything that's going on. So I'm really, really stoked about what this engine is able to do. Uh, so we've got the basic movement capabilities. We've got the enemies. They have their blend spaces and uh, attack functions. Now I did go uh, uh, way beyond what the course was actually just trying to teach me and in almost every lesson or lecture I basically uh, tried to implement it in my own way and did something different so that I really solidified the, the knowledge that was being presented to me. So you see the skeletons there, those were not actually a part of the course but they were a, an asset that I had from the marketplace and I wanted to use their animations and make sure that I understood what I was doing. So. Uh, it actually involved a whole new level. I had to actually spawn a weapon into their hands and, and make these weapons uh, uh, just uh, act in certain ways and things like that. So another function I'm really proud of that I kind of took to my own level was the lock on function. So you can lock onto these enemies and cycle between your targets with the click of a button and the camera uh, and the character are going to turn towards those. Uh, now. The course did offer a, uh, 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 it, it was the basis for, for the lock on function, but I just took it one tiny step farther and uh, really had a blast kind of solidifying the code and the way that it works. So uh, you can see I, I was creating all these different weapons and weapon types and uh, have a few different uh, blend spaces I use uh, for not only when you're in locked on mode, like you can see right now, my character is always facing the direction that the camera is facing because they're in locked on perspective. And that any time that they come in within range of an enemy, it's going to uh, lock on to them. So, but if I'm not in locked on perspective, then my character is just oriented towards whichever way they're moving. So some of the other features of the game uh, include these awesome floating platforms which i loved learning how to how to program and how to program uh, multiple vectors attached to uh, actors that i can then access in different ways that's just such a useful function i am gonna have a blast using that it's just it everything that uh was taught in the course really opened the doors for so much more creativity and for for so much of my imagination to just go wild so um i really had so much of a blast uh here we learned the you know some very basic on overlap begin functionality oh here let's let's see some combat here you can see the spider has an awesome death animation if I go for the skeleton here and attack it, you can see it kind of uh, breaks apart. I made its physics asset uh, activate as soon as it uh, it's it was finished dying, basically. So you can see here another example of that, how it kind of rolls apart. I really had a lot of fun with that. Uh, beyond that, I added an extra disarm function for my sword, so it attaches the sword to the back, and, uh, no running with scissors, I made it so you can only sprint when you're not, when you have your sword attached to your back, you can't sprint when, 
when you're holding your sword that was really just because when you were holding your sword it, it looked really funky and i'm not that advanced i can't make my own animations or edit the animations yet so i'll get there though it is my goal to be a true unreal master and uh like i said this is just my first few months and i'm having so much fun there's no way that i'm going anywhere anybody who wants to pursue learning unreal engine or game development in any way i would highly suggest unreal engine i definitely suggest starting at udemy the value i've gotten from the courses is just phenomenal it's unbelievable really to think that i could have gotten so much value uh i didn't bring a light into this part and you can see the sun is going down <laughs> so i'm not able to see i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video uh, here now since I can't actually see these enemies I I should have brought a light with me here actually I I know the course so well that I can I can actually go to where there's light here um, and hopefully maybe we'll maybe we'll watch the Sun go down for the end of the video uh oh uh, that was another thing there's hazards that I can run into that will take away my health there are coins that I can pick up as well uh, but I just didn't, didn't pick up any for the... You can see my coin count is at zero. Total fail. Epic fail for the coin count there. I apologize for for not showing that off. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll link all of the, uh, the courses in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I can't uh, thank the instructor enough for being so amazing and... and being such a well put together instructor and having such amazing courses this was just a blast uh and yeah i am going to continue this journey and uh if anybody wants to follow along who has not hit that follow button yet please follow or subscribe i uh really appreciate everybody who does thank you so much and take care everyone we'll see you next time